good morning, very early morning from the Yangon International Airport here in Myanmar. I am actually headed to another city. It's a very early flight, 7 a.m. I had to be up by like 4.30 to get out of my hotel. I hate these flights, they're so early, but it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do. It's the only flight that goes to, I'm headed to Heiho Airport, which will take me to the Inlay Lake area. So um, there's only like one flight that leaves every day. So you gotta take what you get. But I'm just stopping here at Gloria Jean's Cafe to get some coffee. Cause you know, if you know me, I can't survive without coffee. So going to sit down, drink my coffee, and then head over to the gate. And uh, thank you, get this day started. Excited to visit Inlay Lake. Here is very beautiful. There's a little town over there that we'll explore as well called Nyongshui. So uh, should be should be a good time, guys. But I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and sandwich, and I'll check in with you guys. I'll show you the airline. It's a local airline. I think called KBZ or something like that. But yeah, I'll check in with you guys in a second. Alrighty, guys, here we are. This is going to be the flight for the day. It's one of these old propeller jets. Very old. And it's raining. before um, it's always interesting somehow I got my bag to fit in the overhead compartment but yeah very tiny plane but it's a quick flight it's about an hour and then we'll be in Heiho and then from there we have to drive to Inlay Lake so just wanted to show you guys what a local airline here in Myanmar looks like and uh, I'll check in with you guys once I get to the other side Landed here in Heho Airport and now I will be on my way to Inlay Lake so somebody's coming to pick me up very small airport of course such a small city I didn't expect otherwise so I'm going to meet my ride and I'll uh, show you guys some views along the way it's supposed to be a scenic ride so let's see and this is my friend Mr. T hi if you guys need someone in Inlay Lake area he is the man to know he will help you out so if you guys ever do come to this area i will leave his contact info and you can always reach out to him but yeah so far it's very beautiful here very green a lot of nature very different from yangon this is a lot more uh, of a peaceful tranquil area so we're gonna head over to uh inlay lake mr t how long does it take to uh get to inlay lake from the airport it's around 45 minutes 45 minutes and is it a uh, scenic ride? Do you see like a lot of nature along the way? Right, indeed. Okay. I'm and you're from here? Uh, I'm from uh, the, the town named Nyongshui. Nyongshui, okay. That's uh, in the entrance of the lake. That's the entrance of the lake. And you have been here your whole life? Yeah. Okay, yeah, this is yeah. your born and raised. That's right. All right. This is, yeah, okay. Native land. And the special, what is the special thing about this this area? What What is that? Is it the lake? Is it the nature? Both. Okay. Uh, and it depends on the seasons. Okay. Like in the in the next month. Yeah. That will gonna be lots of place going to be a beautiful place. Ah. With full of flowers. Flowers. Ah. And uh, there will be the festival, the biggest festival in one of the biggest festival in Myanmar. What is it called? In the Illy Lake. Uh, it's called Pongdohu Pagoda Festival. Okay. Yeah. Well, too bad I'm gonna miss that one, but uh, hopefully next yeah. time. <laughs> next time, then. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, we're gonna get through this checkpoint, and then I'm gonna show you guys some views along the way, and then once we get to Inlay Lake, we'll uh, we'll discover it together.
So one thing I'm very impressed by on the way from the airport to the Inlay Lake is the road is actually really nice. I was just telling uh, Mr. T that I didn't expect the road to be this nice. Usually mountainous areas, um, you run into very bumpy roads, kind of like when I was traveling in Nepal from Kathmandu to Pokhara. Uh, that was one of the roughest roads that I've ever been on. But this road is so smooth, so clean, easy to travel. So it's quite nice and uh, you get a beautiful scenery along the way as you guys can see and you can see on the right yeah there is uh, one of the viewpoints okay down beneath there is uh, the railway road oh there's okay okay oh okay so there's a viewpoint here nice we can stop over there oh great take yeah. some pictures take a quick video yeah. so there is a viewpoint here guys yeah. what's he saying I ask, are you going to Inle Lake? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are. Yes. All right. And let's I'm go from see. From the lake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we're gonna stop here and check out this viewpoint. Oh, so that's the railroad track. Okay. You can walk around there. Ah, uh, okay. Can I can I go up here? Okay. And so over here, you got a nice viewpoint. Look at this. Wow. You can even walk on the. I see people walking on the railway. Wow. Beautiful. This must be a very beautiful train ride. Yes. So where, where does this train go? From where to where? Uh, from Kalor to Xuanyang. Okay. It's a short trip. Okay. But uh, Xuanyang to Tasi, Mandalay, Yango. Oh, you can take did, a train? Yes. Okay. I didn't even know that trains were available. Uh, must be a really beautiful ride. Look at this, guys. This is why I travel. This is amazing. The name of that bridge is called Bawa Samsara. Bawa Samsara. Yeah. What does that mean? It's like a life cycle because it's go like the cycle. Uh, go down the beneath of that. It's like a Very a interesting. <laughs> oh, it's a loop. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. That's really cool, guys. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for stopping here. Welcome to Nyong Shui. This is the town that holds the Inlay Lake. This is his hometown. And we are now entering and you can see there's a lot of beautiful farms and a lot of hotels and resorts in this area because this is a uh, very tourist area. So a lot of people come here to visit. And that's why I came here to see and witness this beauty for myself. And so far, I am enthralled by the nature here and the peace and tranquility you feel once you step into this town is uh it's honestly beautiful and it's uh it's amazing to see how people live in a place in different parts of the country you know we were in yangon before this and if you watch my videos you'll see the city life and then you come one hour flight and it's just a completely different world almost you know these people rely on farming they rely on nature they rely on rain and that's how this place keeps keeps running Had, did you grow up in a farming family or i doing my own nature farming right now oh nice yeah. okay uh, like a papa culture as well oh okay okay very good. What do you? What kind of crops do you? Just vegetable for for the, personal use or the like garden. Oh, like a garden. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But in the farm is uh, rice. It's a bigger. It's it's bigger than a garden. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's in the farm. So yeah, do you only use house. it for your personal use or do you also sell it? Uh, for now, it's just for my family. Okay. And my wife family. Okay. And my uh, my my mom. Okay. And my dad. So you guys are living off the land. Yes. Yeah. You don't have to go and buy vegetables. Yes. And, okay. That's nice. Only meat. <laughs> That's a lost concept in the West, guys. That's a lost concept. The, I've been to so many places in the world where people literally live off the, the land and even young children know how to farm. Whereas in the West, if you told me to go farming, I would have no idea how to do it. And it's sad because 
you know, maybe sometimes, depending on situations, you do need to, these are essential skills that you should have, but we've lost all of that in the West. Now when we need food, we have to go to a supermarket, you know? It's a shame because food here that you get through nature is so much more organic and real rather than going to a supermarket because you really never know what you're buying from there. Wow, look at these beautiful country roads. Borisat Pagoda. Alright guys, we're taking a little stop at a old monastery. It's called Shui Yan Bi. Shui? Shui Yan Bi. Shui Yan Bi. It means like peace, peace place. Peace place. A, a truce place. Okay. Yeah. And you said how, how old is this place? Uh, around 120. 120 years guys. Look at this, how old it is. And a monk is uh, teaching. And it's made from... That. Oh, the monk is teaching inside. Yeah, it's and made it's, from teak wood. It's made from teak wood, okay. Yeah. Wow, guys, 120 years old. We're looking at some history. And usually you don't see monasteries like this. They're usually a little bit made from uh, like a, a concrete. Like a, concrete yeah, yeah. In this area. But, uh, but this is very unique. Can we? Uh, that one is a new one, brand new. Ah, they're building <laughs> that one. So then this one won't be used anymore? Uh, this will be used. Okay. Uh, it's still used. Okay. Very nice. Can we go in a little yes. bit? Oh, okay. So and yeah. we can go uh, that That's the uh, pagoda. Well. Okay. In a little chamber that you will see a lot of uh, so foreigners. Are you, a Bud are you practicing Buddhism? Yeah. Okay. I mean, listen. I'm, I'm a Muslim, but I don't. I'm not the best Muslim, but you know, yeah. at least you you follow. So you grew up with this. Yes. Okay. Very nice. All right. So here we are, guys. We're gonna. Okay. Excuse me. No problem. Yeah. This is amazing, man. Like, since I've walked into this town, it's literally just been like. I feel like I'm in like another galaxy. Like, the nature. The architecture, as you can see, the pagodas, and just overall, it's just amazing, man. They're building this pagoda here. Wow, beautiful. So what's the name of this pagoda? Uh, Shui Yanti. Shui Yanti. Oh, okay. And lots of foreign, I mean, some foreign people. Donation. So their name is put on the wall. Oh, look, Connecticut. Peter Small, Martha Small. A lot of people from Connecticut. Not Parker. Huh? Not Parker. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Peter Parker. <laughs> Not Spider-Man. <laughs> wow, guys, I literally feel like I'm in an ancient cave right now. That's what it feels like. <laughs> Wow. And so these are all people who donated to keep this place, uh, keep this place afloat. Amazing, man! You could be see your friends from New York. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe I'll see someone I know. <laughs> wow! So how how much money do you have to get give to get your name on the wall here? Uh, it depends on the times uh, and it depends on the the who the image uh, made from. The marble, uh, the, that one is wood. Okay. With the bricks. Okay. Yes, this one. So you have to give like a certain amount that yes. they give you. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Wow, guys, look at this. I mean, this is amazing. Some of them are from uh, Florida. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Florida. <laughs> yeah. oh, look, Sri Lanka. I was there not too long ago. In Sri Lanka, we got some Brazil. Wow, amazing. So, 
Is this still like people still come here to worship, or it's mostly just like uh, uh, mostly tourists? Tourists, uh, okay. People from this village. Yeah. They used to come here in a Sabbath day. Ah, oh, okay. It's a no moon day, full moon day. Okay. They come and pray. Very nice. And in a special month, like uh, our New Year. Okay. And next month. Okay. The, the Dinju Festival. Okay. That times people come and pray here. Like with the big books, ah, and they have okay. to read it, chantings, ah, okay, or okay. like that. Five books finish until that. It's take run about non stop, it's run about seven days. Seven days, yeah. so they, they stay here for seven yeah, days. Wow, Frame. it's like a, a mini nirvana, <laughs> <laughs> it's like six years, but six, seven days. Uh, and if you have like this glass message. Yeah, these are all like drawings. Yeah, they have a meaning, I'm sure, as well, yeah. right? Yeah, I couldn't tell you, but yeah. wow. So it's like a the how do you call that? The cops put it inside a coffin. Oh, okay. okay, uh, okay. Coffin for the monk. Oh, for the monk. Uh, like okay. it's flying above ah, to the yeah. heaven. Elevating to heaven. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. At Dead monk or mm. dead Buddha. Okay. And this is also 120 years old, or? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, maybe what? 110. Okay. Because after that, the and these, monastery. And these, like, these are also from the same time? Yes. Everything is original. Yes. Uh -huh. But not these. Okay. Uh, the Buddha image from the. Yeah, Chamber. these obviously yes. are newer. Okay, all right. So that's it, guys. This is the uh, pagoda here. Once you first enter Nyongshui, definitely come check it out if you come to this town. And we're going to go look at the uh, monastery once this opens up a little bit. All right, guys. And so now we are entering window. the monastery. Wow, it's amazing. This is where the. The students actually learn. Wow. Oh, sorry, sorry. What movie is he watching? Okay, this is amazing. Look at these wood floors. These have been here this long, huh? These are some ancient wood floors. Yeah. And they polish it. Yeah, they polish it. Yeah. Keep it nice and clean. Yeah. So this is where all the young monks in training are. Yes. Yeah. Uh, they're young monks. Mm -hmm. This is where they live, huh? Hello. Welcome to Inlay! We have arrived. This is now we're getting out of Nyang Shui, entering Inlay where the lake is. Oh, luckily, uh, fortunately, uh, today is market day. Oh, nice. At, uh, after we're home, we can visit the We can day. visit the market. Yeah, sounds good. Alright, so here we are, guys. I'm going to stop at Mr. T's home and check out his garden. And then. We're going to start exploring Inlay Lake area. Once I get to my hotel, put my bags down. I don't know if I can check in yet. It's still very early, so we'll see. All right, we have arrived at Mr. T's home. What a beautiful home, guys. He has this nice compound, and he's gonna show me his garden. And yeah, such a beautiful home. This is a typical village home here in, in the Inlay area. So jump, it- jump. Bingo! Oh, oh, don't climb! Ouch! Ouch! What kind of dog? What kind of dog is Bingo? That's a pit bull. Pit bull. Oh, what's a big uh, pit bull? Stone for shell. So do you believe that pit bulls, you know, a lot of people say that pit bulls are Gee. dangerous. But I train him so uh, not, uh, to be smart. I'm saying, do you think they're dangerous by nature or it depends on the owner? Depends on the owner. Depends on the owner, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, but... How is he with your kids? Can, uh, 
Yeah, he's fine. Very like he protects them and yes. everything. Ah, That's okay, fine. okay. Yeah, I heard that pit bulls are really loving animals, but they have a bad reputation back home. Right, yeah. but uh, his mom. Yeah. Is really, really bad. Aggressive. Aggressive. Ah, uh, yeah. okay. He, they're, oh, they're, um, <laughs> among dog, if some dog enters to her house, yeah, she kill. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, okay. You can use. Okay. I will use that. Yeah. <laughs> so, just a quick question. Yeah. So, you, this is your whole compound, kind yeah. of, right? So, is this like what a typical home in this village is like? Uh, yeah, we can yeah. see that. Okay. <laughs> oh wow, that's that's the funniest thing. So wait, did you train him to do that? No, I just played. It's just naturally right. when you play it, then he goes. So when 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 T plays the harmonica, then yeah. Bingo sings. <laughs> <laughs> Catch. Jump. He's side. Jump. Jump. Hey! <laughs> He's a basketball player. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no more. No more boys. <laughs> All That's right. Bean. Beans. Is there any snipe? So this is T's garden here. Oh, that kind of beans. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like a um, uh, soybean, I think. Uh, we we call it uh, butterfly beans mm. because I don't know, it opens like, like a butterfly, right? Yeah. Uh, and some people call butter beans. Okay. It's, it tastes also like butter. Butter. Yeah. Soaps. Mm. Oops. Oh. Sorry. Beautiful. Yeah. Very Can nice. Grow again. <laughs> So, T also grows, like we were saying before, he grows everything himself, self-sustainable. So we're going to see his whole little uh, garden here. It's almost like a horticulture. Yeah. Oh, eggplant. I mix everything. Wow. I, yeah, horticulture, yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Eggplant. Is this going to get bigger or this is usually the biggest they if get? That is hard. Yeah. Uh, not not hard still yet. soft. Yeah. Uh, so, so it will be a little bit bigger. Okay. Big. It will be big like this. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's a, this <laughs> is still soft. It will be even bigger keep than growing. That. Yeah. Okay, that's a good size. Do you like eggplants? Uh, to eat? Yes. I'm not a big fan of eggplant. Uh, yeah. I, I'm fine. I don't really like the taste of it. Oh, this is a uh, <laughs> corn. corn. Okay. Sweet corn. Sweet corn. Nice. And. Uh. If you don't trust me, you can taste it. I will say it's spicy. spicy. Yeah, if you don't no, trust no, me, you can. I know, I trust you. <laughs> you know what they say, the smaller the chili, yeah. the more yes, spicy it is. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay, you want it? <laughs> no, <laughs> thank you. Bingo? <laughs> All right. Bingo don't want it too. You know this one? Uh, no, what is this? this is, mushrooms? Uh, Looks no, like it's, mushrooms. It's called elephant yum. Elephant? Yum. Yum. The, the like a taro. The, oh, the root is like, like a taro. Big, like this. Oh, okay. Like okay. elephant food. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And this is the. And seeds. what's this? It's just what you oh, use to wrap it. the plant. Yeah. Oh, okay. Very nice. After cutting, and I don't know how to call it in English. This one. Let me see. You can smell it. It's for the. Oh yeah yeah yeah, I know this. It's um. It's like they crush it and make a powder with it, right? A uh, powder and uh, sometimes we put only the leaf, just like that. Just the leaf. Uh, I think it's it. like a curry leaf or uh, yeah, something yeah, like, yeah, something like that. Smell. Yeah, it's very nice. I've tasted that before. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The small beans. Nice. Those are like the soy beans. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, long beans. Okay. This one is we eat with the fish. The leaf? The leaf, yes. Ah, okay. the, leaf, the, the, the fruit is smells like... 
poop. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, so, you, so, so you don't eat the fruit then? Uh, just take out the shrapnel. Okay. Put in the bottle uh, two months. Okay. And the the liquid's coming out. Okay. That, that liquid is very good for digestive system. For digest. So if you have like stomach uh, yeah. problem, then you can use that. Nice. That's my little everyday leaf. <laughs> hmm. What's this? Uh, we call watercress. 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 Okay. Only the top leaf that mm. we cook. Nice. With the mushroom. Okay. I do grow mushrooms. Oh, you do? The other, uh, the other place, okay. But it's finished. Okay. I have to do tomorrow again. Wait, do, uh, tomorrow. So you usually eat vegetables? Uh, yes. Okay. I like it. Go ahead, Bingo. Bingo, go. Go ahead, Bingo. Go check. <laughs> All right. So that's it, huh? Yeah. Very nice. Uh, how do you call this one? Which one? We call this uh, lady finger. Oh, okra. Okra, yes. Okra, yeah. Cool. Nice, look at this. I've never seen this okra plant. Wow, that's a big okra too. Yeah. I love okra. Oh. It's like one of my favorites. So you can uh, pick it up? No, no, no. I'm saying like when you cook it, you oh, know, all of that, yeah. yeah. In Pakistan uh, cuisine, there's a famous dish, you know, oh. we call it bindi. Okay. It's a uh, okra, yeah. They, do, they eat it a lot. Banana leaves? Banana, huh? Banana, yes. Mm. What's that? That this one? Yeah. That's a banana flowers. Oh, okay, banana okay. Banana flowers. I have to cut it this side. Wow, look at that the huge make. stalk of bananas here. More. And uh, then you also energy. use the leaf too, right? To cook, yes. to put the food yes. on and stuff. To yeah. put the food or yeah. to wrap the to food. To wrap it yeah. and then cook it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, man. Awesome. And this is how this? Yeah. I don't know how to call it that kind of mint. Oh, yeah. It's like mint, no? Uh, mint is this. Oh. This one. Oh, this is like a uh, lemongrass. This is it like... It looks like smell looks lemon, like lemongrass. Like lemongrass, kind of. Yeah. And this one is mint. Yeah. Okay. Ah, that one, yeah, you can smell. Oh, chicken. Tomatoes. Ah, oh, they ate them? <laughs> chicken, they eat it. Yeah. I have to, uh, you know, fight with chicken to pick up all these uh, chili as well. Damn chicken. Look at this one. That's the eat it. That's the, eating the it? eat it. I didn't know if, chickens ate chili. If I pick up, I pick up like this. Oh. Like that. Because we ha we have to, supposed to we take that out as well. Oh. If we don't take that out, it will not grow. It will not easily, grow again. Ah. Uh, wow. Amazing how people live, guys. See, for all of you people watching from Western countries, we need to take a note out of this, out of this notebook and learn how to do this. So guys, this is where I am staying at the Inlay Apex Hotel. This thing, this hotel is costing me about $20, well, actually a little bit less than $20 per night. It's supposed to be really nice. They have Wi-Fi. Oh, let me get my bags from your trunk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Check it. Yeah, definitely need my bags. Thank you, bro. Oh, okay, thank you so much, bro. All right, so here we are. Welcome to the Inlay Apex Hotel. Uh, check in. Yes, I have a reservation for from booking. Some welcome drink. Orange. Some orange juice. Mm, rated a 9.1 out of 10 on booking and an 8.7 out of a go, uh, from Agoda. So we're gonna go check out the room in a second. Alright guys, so just to quickly give you a little roundabout of this hotel room so like i said i'm paying about 20 bucks a night and you get all this for 20 dollars a night it's amazing not much of a view but at least you do have a window to get some sunlight that's cool and then a big huge bed not bad and it's clean and this is the huge bathroom as you can see really nice yeah guys, it's nice to be here in Inlay Lake. A lot more videos coming soon, so I can 
show you guys what this area looks like. And if you ever do come to Myanmar, you got to come here. It's amazing. It's beautiful. But I'm going to wrap this video up, guys. Remember, continue to learn, continue to grow. And there is no growth until you leave your comfort zone. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.